fish again. Now then, I'm fishing an urban stretch of canal today, about as urban as it gets in Liverpool. Some really interesting lock features. I'm gonna start things off with the pike rod, then move swiftly onto the perch fishing if there isn't anything around because there's some big locks, some big structure. And I'm fairly confident of a bite. I'm using the Pro Max combo and the DB fishing skinny shad. Last time I was here, I had a good take right on this gate bridge, so that'll be the first thing to try. But down there, some kind of motocross bike and a series of locks with some good perching. You probably all know what rumours are like in fishing. You get some pretty extreme rumours floating around, but the ones for this particular stretch of canal are extra extreme, I suppose you could say. There's, there's rumours of some sturgeon living here. That'd be a nice treat, wouldn't it? A big 40 pound sturgeon. Fingers crossed. I won't hold my breath. No bites as of yet on the pike rod. It's been quite quiet, but that's not really what I'm here for today. There are some really big perch living in these locks. They get trapped in there when the boats pass. There's a nice big graffiti by me. I'm about to swap over to the perch rod and try and get my hands on a few perch. But I do enjoy, I do enjoy fishing in places like this. Looks like there's some bad weather coming in over there. Better switch to the perch rod while I've still got a chance. That said, if it does start chucking it down with rain, I'm not afraid of getting wet. Kicking things off now, we've got a perch spinner on and we've got an ultralight rigged and ready prototype travel rod. Look down there, can you see that? Fish coming up everywhere. I back myself here, especially with a spinner. I've usually only jigged here before, but I'm gonna go get to it. Typical really, as soon as I get down here, all the fish stop moving. Can't even see one now. When I was up there, there was loads. Oh, fish, fish on. Oh, lovely stuff. It's a little perch. Won't well, need the net for him, I don't think. Look at that for a fish. First fish, absolute stunner. Beautiful perch. Love catching these. Absolutely stunning colours, look at him. Let's get him back. Straight off. Look at this for a stunning place to fish. Wonder if there's anything trapped in here. This rain might even bring the canal to life a bit. I'm slightly concerned I won't be able to see the fish moving. But with a bit of luck I won't need to. It's always good to target stuff like this when you lure fishing and underneath it. Because it's a feature for them to hide in. Dropping down a level. Weather's getting pretty bad. Don't have my waterproof on me. Although I do have another do have another jacket. Jumper should I say. 
feels very fishy around here. Another couple of perch like that and a big one. And I'll be a very happy man. In fact, I already am. It's my first perch in a while. So. Sometimes you just can't beat a good old spinner. Fish. Oh yes, in the rain. Feels like a bit of a bigger one. Still not a massive fish. Another lovely little perch. Very red fins here. Get him unhooked. And he's away. Hope you got to see that. If you're unhooking a fish, like a perch especially with the sharp spines, make sure you um, hold it over the water once it's unhooked because that fell out of my hand and it does happen but just make sure they don't fall onto the concrete or anything. With a bigger fish obviously it's a different matter because you've got your unhooking mat for that. I'm fishing in the rain. Do -do -do -do. Oh, fish again. It's another perch. These fish are getting marginally bigger every time. Show you him quickly and then he'll probably splash out my hand. There, stunning. Again, lovely red fins. Just happy to be out catching him. Not of any size, but there'll be a big one in here somewhere. Straight off. Oh, you might have seen that on the camera. Good bite right next to the bank. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really helps me out. Shame these fish aren't a bit bigger, but there are big ones in here and it's a small body of water. So I've got a feeling it's just around the corner. Really good trip so far. Got a couple more locks to attempt and the one that's going to be brackish water. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. Happy with the progress so far. A few nice perch, but now I'm going to try and get a bigger one. Catch it down the road. Look at that for a sky. Some nice graffiti around too. Stunning. Next place to try. Gonna see if there's any perch trapped in this little section here. A bit more graffiti for the art lovers. Be nice to get a perch to hold up with that background. Just goes on and on. So far from what I'm used to, if you watch a lot of my channel, you'll know. I'm usually pretty far away from anything. But this is cool, makes a very welcome change. Definitely fish in this bit. It's the only section I've not had a fish in today, I think, so I might give this a bit of extra time. But on the way back, I'll definitely hit up that hot spot again. So peaceful. Hardly anyone around because of the weather. Usually this is a bit of a hot spot for people out wandering. Right, by my calculations, if this bit of water's brackish and there's perch in it, then naturally they're going to swim towards that door there to escape the salt where there's some water leaking out of these gates. Let's see if my theory holds. Oh. 
into the last half hour now. Let's try and pick up the final fish. I am getting drenched. What well, was just a bit of rain has quickly turned into a lot of rain. No waterproof either. Oak fish. Oh, feels like a slightly better one. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Final fish of the day for me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps me out. Catch you down the road.